many verses like Surah Ali Imran it mentions Ya Ladina Amin Attaqullah Hakka Taqati Wala Tamutunna Illa Wa Antum Muslimun Or you who believe Antum Muslimun Yes So be Muslim Anna Muslimun Yes Wa Anna Awul Muslimin It mentions in Surah Ali An'am Concerning the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Did he say that he's Muslim Shia Sunni No He said he's Muslim Are you Muslim Shia Sunni I'm Sunni So why do you Are you Sunni When Jesus was not Okay or Muhammad. Okay. Because you know you're Arab. Yes. Descendant, yes. And you know words have meaning. Of course. So we're Muslim, meaning someone who submits to God, worships God alone, that's one. But when we say Sunni, you know the Arabic language, Sunni is a tariq, is a way. Yeah, it's the way that Muhammad Prophet. So yeah, so that's what, that's what it's we're like, saying. It's like what I say, Jesus' yeah. way. So it's a it's a it's a way of identifying something. So, for example, I you, we meet, and you say, "What are you?" And I say, "I'm a Muslim." And then you say, "What type of Muslim are you?" And then I then I can give you a long mahadra, a long lecture. I'm this type of Muslim. I'm that type of Muslim. But if I just say Sunni, you know, this one word makes you understand this is what I believe yes. when someone says if you say someone are you Muslim they say yes and they say what type of Muslim you are and they just say Shi'i then okay this word it gives a meaning okay but the thing is you, you if, if you don't use labels things become difficult why do I want a title for me I mean why I mean is it my <coughs> relationship to God is more important or the way you see the re my relationship to God, which one is important? Of course, the most important thing is your relationship with God. God bless you. So, why yeah. should I make a title about it? Okay, okay. Why now. should I sh do, do this like to show off, like to say, okay, I am this, no, no, I am no, that? No, no, not to, not to show is off. Is it show off? No, no, not that, to show that off. That verse is just show off. Jesus was Muslim. Uh, so I, from my understanding, I read Quran, I read uh, Bible, yeah? Uh, and in, there is no books untouched. After the first and second world war, there is no books untouched, my friend. Okay, listen, you yeah. know what it is? That's my understanding. Sam, Sam, yeah. what it is? We're going from point to point to point. Let's, let's deal with one point first. Sure. The first point is that you want to have a relationship with you and God. Yes. Okay. That relationship is for, it's open for all mankind, isn't it? Yes. For everyone. You want it for yourself and you want it for me. I am no one to choose for you. I am just me uh -huh. and I have to just find my right path uh -huh. by the help of him uh -huh. or her, Almighty. You know? Yeah, yeah. Because so, yeah. there is no sex. Okay. I mean, like, he's not him, he's not her, you know? Let's put that to the side. Say, say for example, I have food. Okay? okay. I have food, I have a nice house, I have clothes, I'm comfortable. Yes. And then I see yourself or someone else. They don't have. Okay. And I know how, I know where they can get it from. I know where they can find work. Yes. Then normal human being, I, I would want to tell them. I would, As I a want kind to, human being. I, I would inform them. I wouldn't say, that's their business. If they want to eat food, they can find it themselves. Yes. So. You understand my point? Yeah, which is great. So, so if, if, you, if you believe you have a relationship with God so and, it's something, and it's something which is beneficial for you, something which is good for you, then you should want it for me. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay. I want to be treated like, uh, like the, the... I have to be treated like... Uh, sorry, I have to treat you yes. the way that I would like to be treated. Yes, alhamdulillah, very good. So that's, that's right. Yes, so therefore... If you have, if you believe what you have is the truth, you will inform me of it, and you will tell me, Yusuf, this is the truth, this is the right way, and then this way, it, to make it easy to convey, make it easy to understand, it can have a label. Yes. Yes. That's that's the point. So, when you say Islam, then we it has a meaning behind it. When you say Christianity, it has a different meaning behind it. When you say Judaism. Hinduism. Yeah, all of them are just about label and titles. It's all about creating borders. No, no, but... but it, it is. Okay. It is. <coughs> okay. It is just about to differentiate each other from one another. Be like, okay, I'm better than you or you worse than me. No. We're not here to no. show that, my friend. No. We're here to live together. Okay. You know, in harmony, as okay. a friend, you know, as a brother. Let me, let, me give, let me give two examples. We have someone, if we take away the, la the labels. So, for example, we have a Muslim and we have a Christian. Yeah. 
Yes. And you want to take away the labels. Okay. Even if you take away the labels and you take away the name and yeah. you take away the title. Yeah. These these two people, they're still different. Definitely. Yeah. As in like uh, So the label never made them different. But the label it, yeah, it makes but it makes it will it makes guide you, you to go it makes time years. It makes time years. It, it makes time years. It makes a distinction. Yes. Which is important. Yes. Because there's always going to be uh, there's always going to be a manakasha. There's always going to be a difference between yes. al wal batil, between the truth yes. and the but falsehood. But who am I to say this is haq or batil? God didn't give me the right to judge anybody. I'm not. I'm not in his place. Only himself can judge me, right? Okay. That's it. That's what Jesus said in his book. Do you have a daughter? No. Okay. You have a daughter. From... I have sisters, family. Okay. You have a sister. Yeah. And someone comes and says. I want to marry your sister. Are you going to judge him? Well, I will definitely check around him to see Why? if he's suitable for but my you sister. Have, but you just said you, basically my but sister you, has to choose that for herself. But you said you have no right to judge. Yeah, that's so not, you, that's so not you, the judgment. So you said so hat and butter. I yeah. cannot say he's butter. I can say he's not suitable for my sister. But again, it's to do with my sister. Yeah. Yeah, she no, should choose. Uh, would you not advise her? Yeah, I would advise her, but I would not but say yeah, this is hak or bat. But even your sister has to judge him as well. Because that's like judgment. That's like yeah. you put a dot at the end. Say this is hak, this is bat. Okay. This is right, this is wrong. You know? It, I disagree with that's you. That's like deep. It's very deep. Yeah. But I, I disagree with you. I, I'll I tell you, that. I tell I you why that. I disagree. Because I believe from my own self, min nafsi, I have no right to say this is hak and this is bat. I have no right. God bless. But if I have wahi, if I have revelation, if I have a kitab, min Allah, from Allah, okay. and Allah says this is haq and this is batil, then I, then I, sh I should accept that yeah. and I should submit to that. Yes. And then I can go around and say this is haq, this is batil. Yes. What, what is going to happen to you on Yawm Al Qiyamah is got nothing to do with me. God bless you. Allah will judge you. Yes. But at the same time, I can still tell you, based on revelation from God, that this is haq and this is batil. You see, you said the word tell. Tell is different than inform. suggest. Yes, inform. That's different. These I are, have these to. These are distinct. Yeah. You don't have to. I you do. just have to. Because you said you, you, exam, you made the instance of marriage. Yeah. So you have to realize first, mm. what is the base principles, like the best things to decide this marriage is good, it's healthy. Or yeah. no, it's intoxicated, right? Yeah. So first, we need to learn that. Like, yes. what what are those? What are those principles? What are those val those values that makes a relationship strong? Make the relationship to be for God's sake, for example. You know? Yeah. Of course, shaitan. Yeah, that's why we have. That's yeah. why Allah has not left us blind. Allah has not left us in darkness. Okay. But He sent messengers. Noah alayhi salam, Ibrahim yes. alayhi salam, Musa alayhi salam, Isa alayhi salam and Muhammad so it's, it's upon mankind you know to use their aql to use their intellect and come to the truth and submit to it like do you believe Muhammad وسلم, is a messenger sent by Allah I don't okay I read Quran and I cannot understand look can you create a fly no so what gives you the right to destroy it what gives you the right to kill it Okay. What gives you the right? That, that, okay, human being, for example. Uh, I'm from Middle East. Yes. Like Palestine, you see every day. Uh -huh. The kids are dying. Yes. From both sides, maybe. God knows. I'm not dead. Uh -huh. If I want to find out, I have to go there. Right? If I want to know what's going on in your land, uh -huh. I should travel to your land first. Sit with your people to find out what's the truth. So I'm just saying. I'm if not I'm not able this, to this create, is something else. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm just saying. If I'm not <coughs> able to create a human being, yeah. what gives me the right to kill? Why, why should I believe that God give me, Allah give me the right to kill someone uh -huh. for the sake of the righteousness? This. That's very. You see, this. This is very uh -huh. tricky. Sam. Barakallahu Let's let's start. Let's start at the asal. Let's start at the foundation. Sure. And then we'll come to killing and war and this land 
and that land. So these things are really very critical for but me. The, Otherwise, there are beautiful things in Islam, like marriage. Uh -huh. It's very good. Yes. You know, it's like not doing adultery. It's very but good. But the thing is, I, I want to get, I want to start with the foundation. Sure. And then, you know, if you have a house. Sorry, I, 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 no, I wish I had had some. I give you. No problem. No problem. No problem. You know, when we're young. Yes. In, in this country. It, it's changed now. When we were young, when we used to go to school, you know the assembly, you'd have a, an assembly and you'll sing Christian songs. Yes. So there's a very famous song. The wise man, he built his house upon the, the rocks. Yes. And the foolish man, he built his house upon the sand. Yes. Meaning, it doesn't matter how good your house is. You have to start with the foundation. Definitely. So that's what I'm trying to... So you believe in God, you don't believe in uh, I would like religion. To think so. <laughs> okay, alhamdulillah. You don't believe Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam was sent as a messenger. That's what you said. I believe Muhammad. Look, you see, from the history, <coughs> from the history. Yeah. I believe God sent his prophets always yeah. Yeah. for its own people, like the people that he needed. Uh -huh. Right. For example. Yeah. You said where I'm from? I'm from Iran. Okay. Iran is a country mixed religion, mixed, uh -huh. mixed. Uh, it's like diverse, like this country. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, we uh -huh. have like we had Jews, we had uh -huh. Christians, we had Zoroastrian. You know, yeah, yeah, we yeah. have Buddhism in, uh -huh. in, in the current land called Afghanistan because this was part of Iran as well. Uh -huh. So all this, right now, they have no right to speak. Uh -huh. They have no right to put a stand like this and uh -huh. personalize their yeah. beliefs. For example, you know, uh -huh. these are like creating misunderstanding otherwise the passion that you got for God I wish the Christian had it for example you know uh -huh. but therefore I don't believe in no religion I only believe in peace love those bases that you said uh -huh. those bases to me is only peace love peacefulness there are two other things I, I don't have it but like uh, justice faithfulness uh -huh. you know and kindness, I think, it's so simple, man. Be kind to one another. Uh -huh. But when I see, like, people, like, I was, like, 10 years old in Iran, and I see they lashing one guy in the middle of center like this. Uh -huh. It was very confusing for me. I was like, oh, I can what's imagine. going on? Yeah. I mean, okay, you want to do it. Why are you doing it in front of the kids? Isn't it because you want to create fear? Isn't it that you want to send a message? You see what I'm saying? Yeah, of course. It's getting. I don't like religion when it gets involved with politics. Uh huh. Because the Quran itself, Islam, is a law. But still, but so still. You cannot mix uh -huh. it with the Islamic Republic of Iran, like for example, Islamic Republic. That doesn't make sense. None of us talking about it. No, no, but still. I go to the mosque. I go to the church. Talk about it. Uh -huh. But they say like we don't want to get involved with politics. I say, all right then. I don't want to get involved with you anymore. Okay. Because I'm talking about kids. They're dying. Because of these policies that uh -huh. have been done by our parents, uh -huh. perhaps, yeah? Okay. So you're not going to fix it? Why? Okay, but still, Siasa, politics, Iran, killing. Back, back Iran, to the Asa. Right now, Afghanistan, Baba. We believe in God. You, do you believe Isa, alayhi salam? Do you believe in Jesus? I, be, I believe they were sent to give some messages to their own people, not to send for a specific, like, to say, look, this is for everybody. Yeah. In the, pro, in the time of Prophet Muhammad, when I read it, salam. When the time he came, the people who were living in that region, yeah. they were killing baby-born girls. Yes. Weren't they? Yes. They, they were not getting married, for example. They, yeah, yeah, anybody they... who had power would take over. But like I had a sister, yeah. ten of them come, come to me and say, like, I'm going to take it for you. So Prophet Muhammad was a good man for that land. Uh -huh. You see what I'm saying? That's the point. But we don't, don't want to accept it. Okay, we just want to say, no, no, it's for everybody. The time that they came, for example, to Iran, we didn't have a slavery for a thousand years before that. We, we, we get married before that, man, before uh, anyone else. Yeah, know? no, all, all societies, so they got married, they, they done business. It, yeah. man, all I'm saying, yeah. you know? Otherwise, my, my family, all religious, you know, all religious. What, not, what, they're they're what, new what? generation, they're not religious. Why? But what religion? Different Muslim, Christian. No, 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 know? your family. The Christian. Your family is yes, Christian. They're all from Christian families. Okay. You know? But they feel it. They uh, cannot speak. Like having a Bible in that uh, land is like if you have it, you get arrested. Uh -huh. Because the Sharia law. Is the Sharia law says that? No, it doesn't. So why not none of us Muslims we talk about it? Why we're, none of us? Because your brothers. We're talking and about we're talking about it now. There. 
No, we're talking about it now. Yeah, here is good. Right? Here. Okay, we don't get arrested. <laughs> no, but the thing is, in Saudi Arabia, my friend, I went there 2005. Uh, yeah, yeah. 2005, I went to Saudi Arabia. Yeah. For business, you know. Yeah. And my my grandfather, he was like, yeah. look, I want to go see Mecca. We went there. Yeah. I done business just around. Uh, uh -huh. Kaaba. Yeah. I've seen how they're doing, but okay, I'll question. I'm like, okay, if they believe this is the house of God, this yeah. man is not scared that he's lying. This man is not scared that he's doing See, like uh, Sam, adultery, for example. Sam, yeah. Sam, let me tell you something. First of all, the conversation we start with the foundation and we start with me and you. Yes, okay, me and you, we discuss. What I believe, what you believe, what what we see to be right, what we see to be wrong. Yeah, see what they think is right. But if if we if we're having this conversation and we mention Mecca, we mention Iran, we mention this thing in history. Yes. It's very hard for the conversation to go anywhere. Definitely. Because Definitely. Right. We are, I would say if you establish some some things which you agree upon, then you can move then you can look at these issue, other issues. But me the common ground would be there's a God. Okay. There's no doubt. Okay, so we got common ground. Yes, definitely. Second, if God has created us, because He's Al Hakim, He's the Most Wise. Yes. He's Al Alim. He's the All Knowing. Alim, yes. And He's Adil. Al He's Adil. He's the. He's just. Well, Kareem, he's generous. Yes. Latif, he's kind. If he's all these things, then he should have created us for a purpose. Sure. And, sure. He, and he should have informed us of that purpose. Yes. And I'm sure he, he did. Okay. So you just tell me what do you think he did for? I'm like, what is that purpose? He said. Can okay, I tell coming. you mine? So, we, so we've got God, purpose. Yes. Now. How do how does mankind how does mankind know that purpose? We believe that he sent messengers, he sent Rasul, and he sent down kutub, he sent books. Yes. So we agreed so far. Yes. Now, once we find out who is the messenger, or who are the messengers, and we find out what are the books, once we we establish that. Then we can use that to understand what is the, the purpose, what is right, what is wrong, and we can use this as a, you know, a mizan, okay. a, as, as a yeah, criteria to judge things, as a furqan, yeah. yes, we can judge things. Okay. So, so we need to agree on this. Once we agree on this, then everything else comes so. after. I don't think so. That's like, uh, it's going to make it more complicated. Because none of the book, these book believers, they're going to agree. They're going to say, okay, that book is better or this book is better. I tried it, trust me. Yeah. <laughs> I tried it. Yeah. But our goal is so simple. That's, yeah. I have a shortcut for it. Okay. It's been mentioned in all these books, in most yeah. of the religions, yeah. religion, most of them. And that's only called peace. Peace, simple. Uh -huh. I shouldn't judge you, should let you be. As long as you're not going to hurt me, hurt other vulnerable people, you're okay. Uh -huh. You know? What's the point of going proving this book, this scripture, this prophet? Of like for Jesus, for example, yeah. they say he's a is God. Some people say, I'm like saying, okay, look, it makes sense that you say he's son of God because he was born miraculously, <coughs> right? Because yeah. look, but why does that mean he's a son? Because you know, because maybe they cannot define it properly. Because I say, you have. You believe in the spirit, right? You believe in your. You have a spirit yes, a within soul, you. A soul, yes. Where did a you nurse. get your soul from? From the Creator. From the Creator, I know. But have you got? Is it got anything to do with your parents or no? Has it got anything to do from your father or mother? See, the thing is, according to Islam, according to Quran and Sunnah, that we are, you know, obviously, uh, a man and a woman they come together. They have. A man and a woman, they come together, okay. they, they have relationship. Yes. The woman becomes pregnant. Yes. And then the soul is blown in. The soul is brought from the Creator. But yes. the soul is min amri rabbik. It's, it's, it's a command from your Lord. Yes. Yes. But that soul yes. must have a nature. But the, right? thing, but the soul thing, has got a nature or no? But let me just say, but before that, because you mentioned Jesus being the Son of God. You obviously are the son of your father. Yes. Your father is a human being. Yes. 
and your mother obviously is a human being so therefore you are a human being yes so islamically we don't accept that jesus is the son of god we don't believe that creation is the son of god yes. we believe they're makhluk they're created by god it's the creation of god so you mean god cannot create a son out like he cannot he's not capable of it because this is what you say. i know you don't mean it yes. but what do you say you refer to that? no because words have meaning words have meaning yeah when you say son it's the offspring of so if, if Jesus is the son, so he got half half. Okay, let's say let's yeah. put it simple. Yeah. You, half, father, half, mother get married. Half what? You have half a spirit from your father, from uh -huh. your mother. So Jesus is from half their, God. From their, okay, let's say put it simpler. So he's simpler half God. Pardon? So Jesus is half God and half man. Look, the spirit. I'm talking yeah. about the spirit because the spirit is one thing, and the <coughs> nature of the spirit yeah. is a different thing. Yeah. So the nature of my spirit, yeah. I'm getting it obviously some from God. 100 percent most of it comes from God. But yeah. they say some of it to do with my parents. Yes. You know, it's the son That's of, for example, the son of Genghis Khan becomes Taymur, and he goes destroy Turkey, for example. Yeah, yeah, now yeah. it's Turkey. Yeah. yeah. Am I right? But that's but that's why we we say that that God does not have a son. The Quran is very clear. Yeah, not as a, obviously that the way we say it. Yeah. But I'm just saying he's a spirit. Uh -huh. Where is coming from exactly? Like you get it from your parents. I get yeah. it from my parents. Where yeah. Jesus got it? Half of it from Maria. Maria Mogadas. Yeah. And the other half is miracles. M miracle, yes. right? It's who who give that spirit to? That nature. Where is coming from? From God Himself. Let me mention two things. Because you understand Arabic. A little bit, yeah. What, like, is, 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 like, is it like a second language for you? Yes. Yeah. So yeah, first yeah, is yeah. Farsi. Yes. Yeah. And then it's, you understand it's, it's, Arabic. It's Farsi actually. Yeah. And, oh, first, and, and you read some and you read some of the Quran. Yes, I read Quran several times. So you know Surah Al Ikhlas. Yes. So Quran, this chapter about God himself. is explaining who sense. is God. Yes. Say he Allah is one. Allah is Samad, he is Samad. Yes. Everything needs him, he doesn't need anything. Yes. He's self-sufficient. Yes. Self-existing. Exi Everything comes from him. Lam Yalid Walam Yulad. He's not born and none is born from him. Yes. He doesn't have parents, he doesn't have children. Definitely. And there's nothing comparable to Allah. That's one thing. Second, in uh, Ali Imran, the, the third chapter in Quran, it mentioned, yes. in, in the Verily, the example of Jesus with Allah, with God, is the example of Adam. Adam was created from dust and God said be and it was. Yes. So the same way Adam, our father, Adam alayhi salam, he didn't have a mother or a father, he was just created by God. Yes. That doesn't make him the son of God. It makes him the creation of God. We For say sure. this we we say the same with Jesus. Because Jesus was born from the Virgin Mary, it doesn't make him the son of God. Because this is problematic to say that God has a son. Because Why there is a problematic? I mean, there is nothing that God can't do. Like uh, I would say, I read is, this is there, is, of it. Is there nothing that God can't do? Is, the God, God will do everything He wants. No. If he, he's no. capable of doing everything. No. What do you mean? Because what you're saying is, I, no. I'm against that. Like, no problem. God can do anything I, He wants. I, I think it's a Christian misunderstanding. I, I, I'll tell you why. Okay. I'll mention in Quran, as you know. Allah is over everything able. Allah is able to do everything. Okay? Yes. But when we're talking about the who is Allah, why do we worship Allah? Why does Allah alone deserve to be worshipped? Yes. That is because Allah is the truth. And anything which is worshipped other than Him is falsehood. Yes. Because Allah has asma, He has names and He has sifat, which make Him worthy of being worshipped. Like for example, if I said to you, can God die? You say no, because this is not befitting the majesty of God. Someone can't turn around and say, but you said God can do everything. 
No, because Allah is Al Hay. Yeah, God can put an end to all of this, right? No, but if you want. Can God die? This is a very tricky, like how do you say, this is a political question. No, it's, it's not, not a very straightforward. It's like you say, which one came? Chicken came no, or egg? No, no, it's a nonsensical it's question. It's a nonsense. Exactly, it's a nonsensical yes. question. So, like, you shouldn't yeah. look even for an answer. So, because Allah is Al Hay, He's the All Living, yes. Al Qayyum, He's the one who he subsists himself or he he's, he's he's everything subsists from him but he is self subsisting he himself exists himself okay. he's not in need of anything then to ask can he die the the here the problem is not the answer the problem is the question the question, the is, question is, is is ridiculous is stupid <laughs> yeah Excuse same way to say that god has a son for us is ridiculous but then for you to say but, but that's not but, impossible but god, God. What you question is impossible. But no, that, no, no. that theory is, imp is, I'll, not, is not impossible. I'll, I'll tell you why it's wrong. I'll tell you why it's wrong. Because, like we said, your father is human, you are human. My father is human, I am human. This is how it works with all the animals, everything. If you're saying that God has a son, and if you literally mean son, then you would say that the son of God is also a God. Okay. So this is ridiculous. Yeah, I understand. Because to, 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 because to say that God came into existence and didn't exist at one time, it, straight away it means it's not God. So uh, in Quran, I'm not sure about this. Is it in Quran says it that God created human in His own image? No, it's mentioned in Hadith. In Hadith. Yeah. So do you believe in that Hadith? Yes. So, but with, I would say with, with the correct understanding. Okay, can you explain to me. Okay. How this is now we're going very deep, but what how the ulama have explained it is that Allah has perfect attributes. Human beings they have some kind of uh, share, not share, they have something similar but not the same. Like for example, Allah has knowledge. Yes. But his knowledge is calm and it's perfect. Yes. He knows everything from past, everything from future, everything from now. We have knowledge, but our knowledge is limited. But we can gain, we can we, gain more. We can gain, we can forget, we can make a mistake, yes. but we have to gain it. So we have certain characteristics which share, it's very hard to put in words, but we share something. So human yeah. beings, they, they have free choice, they can, they can be merciful, they can etc so yeah. we have we have like this but still we go back to what i mentioned nothing is comparable to god god is completely different Definitely. but so that's why the point i wanted to mention here is that jesus is not the son of god jesus is the creation of god and jesus he was sent okay. he I, was, I agree with you okay he, he, i agree with you on that point well, I'm just saying. So we're getting closer. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I hope so. I hope so. So we could put an end to this, you know, and then we all become friends. So why we stick to these points rather than what he was teaching, what he was preaching about? Why? Why we keep sticking? Like, is he son of God or is he God himself? Or why we not talking about his uh, teaching that he said? Offer the other side of your face if some man is like for example why are we not talking about it why nobody mention it I'm, i would that's my question you know? okay this one firstly as muslims we don't accept the bible is preserved revelation it's the same as quran quran was written by usman 200 maybe some years later i mean they gathered it uh -huh. he was as a khalifa he no. was not masoom was, no. was, was usman masoom no. He no, was no, a no, ruler. No. He was a Khalifa. No, and no, he no. gathered it like the same as King James, you know. He no. gathered it to rule people. No. Why do you say no? Why say no? Why I, about, I, I, what about Bible? Are you so sure about it? But yeah. not about Quran. I, I say why. I, I tell you why I say no. Yeah. Because I believe you're mistaken. That's why I say no. Okay. I, I, I'm going to address what you said. No, I appreciate that. But we're still. I put it here, so no problem. The asl, the asl is still where I, where I want to uh, return to. There's God, He created us for a purpose, and He sent messengers and books to inform us of that purpose. Okay. Okay. Now, 
The Quran it mentions uh, chapter 15 verse 9 that Allah says the Quran says that Allah has sent down the reminder and he will protect it he will preserve it now the Bible is one thing but when we're talking about the Quran you know Uthman he was the third Khalifa according to the Sunnis I know the Shia they but anyway, I follow Shia Sunni, bro. Okay, so Abu Bakr. That's why I came from here in East Al uh -huh. and I travel. I was following Christians, and I'm like, okay, uh -huh. these people are also wrong. So, so I would say all of all of us so, are wrong. So when it comes to the Quran, you said 200 years. About yeah, 200 something years, so, right? No, Osman Rajan, he 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 lived in the time of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Okay. He was married to one of the daughters of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. She died. Then afterwards, he married a second daughter of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Okay. Okay. He became the Abu Bakr Rajalan was a Khalifa for approximately two years. Okay. Umar Rajalan, if I'm not mistaken, I can't remember it's 10 or 12 years. Then after Uthman became the Khalifa. So when Uthman Rajalan gathered the Quran, it wasn't 200 years later. That's some one. of these narratives, obviously, you're right, you know, because I was always thinking about it. I was like, because there are some ideas some, talking some about it, this prophet. Some scholars, some, sorry, some critics of Islam, they tried to say the Sunnah was 200 years after or 300 years after. But that's a separate question. The Quran. What we believe about Quran, Quran, uh, Quran is Kalamullah Ghayr Makhluk. That's, the, that's another thing I'm, I'm disagreeing with you. No problem. Because, no problem. Because in Quran, even Prophet said, Yeah. Jibreel. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. The revelation, yes, yes. You reveal Quran to him. Yes, yes. So it's not Allah himself. It's Jibreel. It's Gabriel, as Christian says, right? So it's yes. not Kalamullah. It's Kalamul Jibreel. No. I mean, obviously, it was given to him by Allah, right? Yeah. So that's, that's your understanding. Answer. But it's not literally Kalamullah. Okay. Is, am I right or wrong? You're wrong Jesus again. Why? I don't because know how Muhammad you can... prophet said himself is from Jibreel That's what he himself. No. He said, came to me. He, he is the wasila. He's the means. But it's still the speech of Allah. It's still the kalam. Like for example, for example, now, I am Yusuf. I'm standing in front of you, and I say Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. I said this. Yeah. But this is this, Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen is the speech of Allah. I was taught this by a person. That person, what he taught me, he taught me the Kalam Allah. He, ta he, ta he taught me the speech of Allah. It goes back to the Sahaba, radiallahu ta'ala anhum. It goes back to the Prophet, sallallahu alayhi wasallam. It goes back to Jibreel, alayhi wasallam. And it goes back to Allah. Even in all of this, it was, but it's not it was, directly, literally, it's, it's, from Allah. It's always, yes, no. So it's, 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 it's the it's Kalam a wrong, of Allah. It's a false claim. It, it should say, it's uh -huh. from Jibreel, and Jibreel gives to Muhammad. Okay, listen. But when you keep saying, okay, now is morning, morning. For, for 10 years, you say morning, your kids growing up, you say now is daylight, daylight. Sam. I will be believing it, it's daylight. Sam. You know? Sam. We, we, moved, on, we moved the point. So, I'm, I'm still explaining one point. Sure. Okay. So, the Jibreel alayhi salam brought the Quran to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi salam. Whether a person accepts it or not, I'm just saying that this is what the Muslim narrative is. This is yeah. what we believe. Yeah. The Prophet. I, I respect that. The I Prophet sallallahu alayhi salam. He was he was un, he, he was unable to read or write. Yeah, he was illiterate. Yes. So when the Quran is revealed to him, he memorized it. Okay, then he would call the companions around him and from those companions we have the names from history of 65 of them. They would come, he would recite the Quran to them, they would write it down. And they write it down on whatever writing material they had. Leaves, bones, pottery, etc. They'd write it down. At the same time, they would memorize it. Okay. So this is how the Quran was kept. But, but you know, you know, because you're from Iran, you've been to Saudi I've been to most of the Middle yeah. East, I've been to okay. Afghanistan, I've been to Dubai, I've, been, yes. I've, I've seen many Muslims from different countries. Yes, you know? yes, yes. I've seen the most peaceful Muslims I've seen in this country only. Because you can engage with them in a conversation without 
getting any about, about energy. We're, we're, we're educated, we're about, we're about you, yeah. an uneducated one. No, no, but, but so you know. But the you know, for example, in the you know we pray five times a day. Yes. And you know generally. The salat you can pray in your house, you can pray in your workplace, yes. but it's always established in a masjid. Yes. and daily. Yes. And you know we have five prayers, but the fajr is is read aloud. Yeah. The maghrib is read aloud. Isha is read aloud. Aloud. You have you have sahriya and jahriya. You know, for example, for example, when I pray the middle prayer. Yes. You don't hear it. So, oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. So yeah, when yeah. you come to the Fajr okay, prayer, okay, okay. Yes. the Imam Allahu Akbar, yes. Alhamdulillah, yes. Rabbil, everyone can hear. Okay, that's the And whenever we pray the Salah, the Quran is recited. Yes. Then you know the month of Ramadan. Yes. You know you heard the Salat al the night prayer. Yes. The whole Quran is read. For, for a month, the whole Quran is read. Yes. From beginning to end, and the yes. one, the one who leads the Imam, one the, day, yeah. Yeah, the one who leads it is a Hafiz. You know, he's memorized it. He's not reading from the book. Yeah. So it's something which is memorized. Okay. And you know, hundreds of thousands of Muslims have memorized it. Yes. So, I'm. I, I have a point in this conversation. So, in the time of the Prophet wasallam, the Quran was recited daily. Last weekly last the Quran was written down by the yes. companions the Quran was memorized by the companions yes, yes. yes. now no, no, no. and it was revealed it was sent down over a period of 23 years when yes. the when the prophet when the prophet sallallahu died then the Quran had not been gathered in one book between two covers yes there, so uh, Umar Rajalan, Abu Bakr and Zaid bin Thabit, they came together and they discussed gathering the Quran. When they gathered the Quran, they asked people, they asked people to bring all of the, the all that was written, yes. all that was written, yeah. To get him together, yes. And not only that what is written, but they brought those people who have who have who have memorized the Quran, including Zaid bin yes. Thabit, including Abu Bakr, including the Umar. Rajan. Many companions have memorized the whole Quran. So, the, so the point is, it was first gathered between two covers. Afwan, Afwan, can you take it over there? Can you take? If Jesus is a prophet, if Jesus is a prophet, what is his message? Talk over there. Talk over there. Talk over there. So I'm ready to talk. So, my point is, in the time of Abu Bakr Rajan, in the first year, in the first year after the Prophet ﷺ died, the Quran was gathered between two covers. Okay. When Abu Bakr Rajan died, it was given to Umar. When when Umar Rajan died, it was given to his daughter Hafsa. In the time of Uthman, still there was no official. The Quran is there, yes. preserved in a book. The Quran is memorized and recited daily, memorized by the people in their hearts yes. and recited daily. Yes. But in the time of Uthman, no, particularly in the time of Umar, Islam spread very fast. Yes, yes. Islam spread very fast. The Byzantine Empire was, was defeated. So Islam spread to North Africa, Egypt, Syria, you know, Sham, Syria, Lebanon, Palestine. Before Uthman, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, the, the Roman True. Empire. Yes, Roman is right. And it spread to Persia. Yeah. The uh, Faris uh, Empire. I think it spread in Persia way before that. Yeah. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was alive when No, when mo the most, came, in, most, in, most in the time of Umar. Ajan. So now what You're happened was... You're talking about the uh, Islamic conquest. Yes, yes. Yeah, I'm talking that's, about that's the after Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam yeah, 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 yeah. died and the rest started to and act like a prophet. And most, mostly in the time of Umar, Ajan, there was a lot of conquest. So what happened now? Islam had spread out from uh, Mecca and Medina and the, the Hijaz al-Arab, the Arabian Peninsula, yes. and it had began to spread to people whose uh, original tongue wasn't Arabic. It was Sumeri, right? Uh, Various, so, so, many. so many languages. Yeah. You're talking about Egypt, you're talking about Syria, talking about Persia. Yeah, because there was there were Semitic uh, languages, like so, Hebrew, yeah. Arabic, and... Uh, so, so Syriac, so many languages, Farsi, so many yeah. languages. Yeah. So therefore, in the time of Uthman Rajan, it was agreed amongst the companions that the Quran should be made official. 
Yeah, we, should have, we should have, we should have co official copies. Oh, sorry. Official copies, which are agreed upon, okay. and all personal copies which people have from their own writings, from their own works, should be left, should be burnt. So this is how we got the official Uthmani text of Quran. But it was, it wasn't the first Quran. And this, this, uh, you know, this, there was a council set up. The council who, who um, gathered in the time of Abu Bakr was the same council who gathered in the time of Uthman and Zayd bin Thabit. So the, it, it wasn't the Quran was gathered in that time. It was the Uthman, radiallahu ta'ala anhu, made official copies yes. and sent them out to the various How districts. How many years was that after? Like, About 17. Are you sure? Yes. Because yeah. so it makes more sense though than that those narratives available on Google and 200, those 200 is, is when they want to criticize the, the hadith. But this is another story. So the, the point is, but even Osman, when he sent out the Qur'ans, the official Qur'ans to the various districts, every Qur'an was sent with a reciter. Someone who had memorized the Qur'an from the Prophet Muhammad yes. Like I don't know if you, you heard of a, compa a companion, Abdullah ibn Mas'ud. He embraced Islam in Mecca with the Prophet He said himself, I memorized, I learned, sorry, I learned 70 surah of the Quran from the mouth of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, as in he learned it directly. And then the Prophet is, so, the, so, so my point being is, my point of all this long, but was the, the Quran has been preserved, which cannot be said about the, the 66 books, the 73 books of the Bible. Because the Bible is written, isn't it written by the Havarion? No. This by is the, 12, uh, for, to, the no. 12 apostles of Prophet uh, no. Jesus, for example? No, this is a claim. Because the, this is just a claim? Yeah. So that's a claim, and this is not a claim? How do you say that? You see? <coughs> yeah, yeah. But obviously, what we're saying is a claim, but we're going to bring you evidence for it. And the evidence which I just mentioned, and when when the when the when the Quran makes a claim, in the Nahnu Nazalna Dikra wa Inna Rula Hafidun, verily we have sent down the Quran and we will protect it. And then the Quran says in uh, Surah Al Qamar, Wa Laqad Yassan Al Quran Li Dikri Fa Hel Min Mutakir. We have made the Quran easy to remember. So is there anyone who will remember it? So when we have the Quran today memorized by hundreds of thousands of people and then you know Asanid, your chains like brothers I know many brothers they have they memorize Quran and they will tell you they will tell you the teach they learnt it from and this teacher gave them ijazah he gave them permission they recited the whole Quran to this teacher and the teacher says yes you are able to recite you can lead the prayer you can go and teach the people this teacher, he has the name of his teacher. This teacher has the name of his teacher. Yes. This te back to the companions, back to the Prophet So when we make the when we make the claim the Quran is preserved, it's a claim, but we can bring evidence for this claim. Yes. And the Quran has been continuously practiced. You know the salah, the zakat, the hajj, the nikah. The beautiful things are Quran. Don't get me wrong. They are very very things in Quran but, we but there are also things uh -huh. that, that really freak me out no problem but that's some, you know? but that's something else but the, the first point it has been preserved yes whereas we cannot say the same for the Bible we cannot say the same for yeah, the Bible you say it makes sense but at the same time look if we say that's just a claim and, yeah. and if, if what they're saying is right and is written by the 12 apostles it's not though no one's saying that because the name of the Bibles is the names of other you are not John, like the Matta, you know Matthew, and okay. all that. So they are the names of those twelve apostles. You know the, and new the name of the angels, like yeah, yeah. But but the, let me tell you, every every I'm going to tell you, you don't have to take it from me, but you can research it. Sure. This is something which I researched, and this is what I believe to be correct. This is my conclusion. The New Testament is twenty-seven books. 
Okay? I didn't know that. The majority of the books, 13 or 14, are attributed to Paul. Okay. Okay, yes. Four of them are known as the Gospels. One Gospel is said to be the Gospel of Matthew. Uh, Matthew, Mark, Luke and John. Yes. Christians, they say, Matthew was a companion in the Hawariyin of Isa yes. and Johanna, John. Yes. But they say Mark wasn't. They say Mark was a traveling companion, uh, was a, sorry, a scribe for Peter. Okay. And they mention Luke was a traveling companion with Paul. So the Christians are only claiming two books are written by companions of Jesus. Just two. From the 27 books, they're claiming two. Matthew and John. Okay. According to biblical scholars, these names, we don't have, they don't have the original manuscripts. Okay. And the, if you read Matthew and if you read John, nowhere does the, the books claim that I, John, wrote this. I, John, got wahi min Allah. I read or it, I got, it, I got read the name at the beginning. It's written True. after. Christian okay. scholars say the first person to make this claim was a person called Irenaeus. Okay. And he came about 130 years after Jesus was taken up. And if you, what happens is Christians read the read these books separately, but if you if you place the books next to each other, yeah. then you will begin to notice there's vast differences between the books and vast. It's not just perspective and opinion; it's actually contradictions. Definitely, I I, I find both contradictions in, in Quran and and the Bible. You know, several times. Okay, so we we agree, we agree on one point. You, I, I, I agree to disagree because you no, say no, there's no, a claim, no, no. and this is just what's no, no. a claim. I, I, it's all a claim. No, what we, what, what I agree with you on, is the Bible has contradictions. But I don't agree with you that the Quran has I'm contradictions. I'm not expert yeah. of Bible. Yeah. Okay. I'm yeah. not expert of probably none of them. From yeah. my understanding, is peace is important. You know, the peace that you can gain from it. Yeah. You know, why we don't have peace in our lives? Why? Okay. Why they have peace? Who has peace? Christians, for example. Do they have peace? I'm here in the Christian have you, have you heard of World War One, World War Two? Yeah, okay, yeah, sure, sure. Okay. We all have bad kids as well, sometimes, you know? Okay. But, it, but, but for example, uh, talking about Hitler. But I, I, Hitler was not I, believing in himself, I don't know, was, did he say he's a Christian or Jews or no? No, no, the, the thing is, if you're saying that Europe has peace, Right now, I'm talking about current okay. time. But many of the wars in the other parts of the world, the source of the war is Europe or America. Like, for example, if you say... The source it, of the war is money, <coughs> greed... Like Afghanistan. What you say is general, again, generalization. You know? uh, okay, that, Iraq. In, in, Iraq. Who, who invaded Iraq? Like, if you say... Obviously, the, the warlords, oil the uh, companies... The, the, peace, you know? the peaceful people. The peaceful people always dying, my friend. So, so like we are just dying. No, no, but, but, but we the are point just, is, my father, you said uh, Iraq. My father died yeah. in the war of Iraq, uh -huh. eight years. Okay. Probably by another brother, Palestini or Lebanani. You know. Yeah, but so the point is, the point is, you can't say these lands are peaceful, as if because they're Christian or because they're secular, they're peaceful. No, they have problems in other parts of the world, and they benefit from those problems. They benefit by selling weapons. They benefit by oil. And I'm not blaming the average English person or the average American person, but you can't say this land is peaceful. But that's why. Why can't you say it? It is peaceful. We're uh, here right now. Yeah. We're speaking with peace with yeah, yeah, yeah. each other. But, why not? But not. But it's not peaceful because of um, these people who who run it are peaceful because they're the ones who no, are the controlling who are running, wars, selling weapons. The, I, I yeah. don't want to talk because if you record <laughs> us, I don't want to get you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Followed by MI5. <laughs> no, no, no. But, but this, but this, my my point is that's why I I want to keep it at the the asal. But the asal is if the Quran is preserved. Yeah. And then the Quran says, for example, in uh, Surah Al-Araf, it mentions, Qul, it me so the Prophet وسلم, has been commanded by Allah, Qul ya ayyuhal nas, inni rasulullahi ilaykum jami'an. The Quran is saying that the Prophet وسلم, tell the people, I am sent as a messenger of Allah to all of you. The Prophet وسلم, he taught hadith in Bukhari and Muslim, 
He said, I've been given five things which no prophet before me was given. And from them he said, the last thing he mentioned was, every prophet was sent to their home, to their nation. Yes. But I have been sent to all mankind. This is in Quran? No, this is Hadith. But, the, hadith. but, but what I gave you from the, was from the Quran. Inni Rasulullahi ilaykum jami'an. Yeah, you're nas. Oh, mankind, I have been sent as a messenger to all of you. So, our point is Isa alayhi salam, he was sent to Bani Israel. Musa alayhi salam was sent to Bani Israel. But, and Allah mentions, وَلَقَدْ بَعَثْنَا فِي كُلِّ أُمَّةٍ رَسُولٌ عَنِ اعْبُدُ اللَّهِ وَشْتَنِ بِالْتَّاهُوتِ To every people, we have sent them a messenger. Yeah. And telling the people to worship God alone and to avoid all yes. false worship. This yes. is the message of all the messengers. Yes. But Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he came with the same message, but he was sent for all mankind. The black, the white, the Arab, the non-Arab, yes. me and you. Yes. That's the point. Now, you want peace, you want justice, you want kindness, it can only come by accepting the final messenger and the final revelation, the Quran and Muhammad I sallallahu alaihi wasallam. I try my best. I uh, try my best. <coughs> see, this is look, it's just like see, look, the it's thing not is, working. If we have a Muslim who is not causing peace, it will be working. Yeah. If we just try to connect ourselves to him. Yes. And that's it. But you cannot. But you cannot connect yourself in a way that he wants without the messengers and without his, his books. Okay, but these books, and I'm saying to you, yeah. I agree, Muhammad was a great guy. Okay, uh, I'm just saying, there are verses in Quran. Yeah. Also in Bible, that doesn't make sense. Let's leave the Bible. You know, that's what, maybe we should talk about it in another time. I, you know, No but, problem, but what in the Quran doesn't make sense to you? fi sabilillah, approach. Or... Why? No, no. Okay. Or, one point. This is Arabic, you understand. One point at a time. Oh. Fighting, in the sake of, for the sake of Allah. No, fighting. Fighting. But where does the Quran say "uktilu"? It's, it's "qatilu." Qatilu is, is to fight. No. Islam teaches to fight in the way of Allah. To fight and kill. But not kill. There's a difference. Okay, there's there's kill, a difference. I agree with you. There's a difference. There's a difference. Because qatl. Qatl yeah. means qatl. Qatl. Yes. Qatl means murderer. Qatl no. means There's qatl and there's qatl. There's qital. Qital is fighting. Okay. Qatl. Yeah, Arabic but, is a bit... Uh, ob obviously, Arabic is fighting, bit, uh, fighting can lead to killing. Of course, if you fight someone, you may end up killing them. But the aim is, the aim is not to kill everyone who doesn't agree with you. The aim is not to kill all Christians, all Jews, all Shi'i, all... No, that's, that's not why, the aim. That's why I couldn't but, agree with but them, that, But you know? that doesn't happen. That doesn't happen. For example... War happens. But not killing... Surah kill Ma'idah. Yes. 33. Okay. Inna ma jaza'u alladheena yuharibuna Allahu wa Rasulah wa yas'awna fil arzi fasadah Yes. And you got the loop. You got the loop. And you got the loop. Yes. What does it mean? Okay. Oh, you sell the boom. Oh, to cut the air. I did him. I did him. But I did him. Yes. So, what does this mean? I'm My gonna... English is bad. Maybe you can translate it. Okay. I cannot bear this. Okay. The meaning is that, that those people who fight against Allah and his messenger and they cause corruption in the earth okay corruption in facade fil art they okay. cause they yeah. cause corruption, corruption in the earth yeah, yeah, yeah. then kill them yeah earth is actually coming from arabic is it? Arabic. yes <laughs> then kill them yeah crucify them yeah cut off their hand and feet from opposite sides yes okay why i mean give them peace put them in jail Put them in jail, give them hard jobs. Why okay. not? Okay, okay. Firstly, firstly, does this verse say to kill people 
for no reason? No, of course not. Okay, because that, that's what I thought you what said you in the... What Jesus says, uh, offer the other cheek. Just imagine, like, name one person. Like uh -huh. the biggest gangster of the town that he thinks he's humble. But the thing is, the one... Tell him, you slap him and he will let you go. None of us are that peaceful. Do you, do you think that's good? To be peaceful? No, 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 no. To be peaceful is good. Yeah. I, I don't want to mix the points, but... Because this is about peace. It's killing. I'm just saying, okay. it doesn't give us peace. Someone, they come to your village or your town in, Af in, uh, in Iran. Yes. And they slap you. Yes. And you... You believe this is what Jesus taught and you let him slap you. Okay, good for you. And because, you, because of that, then he goes and slaps someone else. Yes. And then because of that, he goes and slaps yeah, someone else. Said because, and then he goes and slaps someone else. I've got a story after that because it says, make sure it doesn't cause you any harm. Make sure, it, but he, he first, just, what he but means, he, but he's what he your face. means by that from my I, I don't even think Jesus said it. Because my understanding yeah. from, yeah. But I don't believe none of these things are said by him. Okay, uh, if this is, you want to say, I don't believe none. But uh, God give us Then you don't believe that God, God communicates to mankind. No, God give us aql. Yeah. And ak but, my aql says, if someone slaps you on your face, yeah. you should defend, defend yourself. yourself. Yeah, definitely. definitely. And yeah. if the person continues, then you should stop him. Yeah, absolutely. That's what he says again. But I'm just saying. No, he doesn't say that. He said if he slaps you on this side, give him the other side. Yeah, offer him the other side. So let him do it again. Make sure it doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt okay. your body. You don't get bodily hurt. That's <laughs> the verses I read. No, this is you're putting stuff in. You're adding stuff. But anyway, look. It's like the hadith. Okay, you guys put it in it. It's like imagine you as a hadith. But my point is, yeah. my understanding is that when he says offer the other cheek, I question this myself. Uh -huh. Like how could I? Is, how could I let someone to slap me and uh, I allow it to happen? And then I realized, like this came to me. Okay, yeah. revelation. You say. I, no, you I don't think, say. Think, when you think too much, you think you will reveal by Allah. I'm just saying. It means. It doesn't mean that at all. Try to understand yeah. that yeah. person. Yeah. Why is he being so much angry? Try to feel him. This is my understanding. Try to feel him. Try to, cause. Well, thank you like, for your understanding. Like the, the one, yeah. But the, like, the, if yeah. I, if if somebody hurts another yeah. person, it's yeah. because probably they are hurt already. They have too much hatred in their heart. You know, that's my understanding. If so, maybe if, I'm wrong. If someone rapes, oh, if someone rapes someone's daughter, should they give them the other daughter? No, that's stupid. Why not? That's that, Why that's not? What he says. What should you do then? That's not what, about what, what if yeah. someone raped, yeah, what adultery. Yeah. Obviously, in Bible also says kill them. <laughs> so but you, so these you. These years, 2024. Yeah. They say if somebody cross such a point, that means they have mental health problem, my friend. No, no, no. In in the Western society, it says if you commit adultery or fornication, no problem. That's it. I know, no, 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 I, I, no, I, I, no. I, they, 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 they don't say no problem. They say this is not good. But there's no punishment. It's your own choice. You can destroy your wife, you can destroy your children, you can destroy your family, you can destroy your community. No problem. But in America, they kill you. In the America, they, there is a, not, not for there, there is a persecution. Yeah, Correct. for murder. Yeah, for, for murder or for, certain crimes. For adultery, is not like that? I don't think so. I but could be wrong. Day, killing another person. I mean, I just. I just I can't take it. I, maybe I'm so soft. Uh -huh. but, okay. I'm just saying, when you can manage to create a jail for them, <coughs> put them in that jail in the solitary for the rest of their life with hard works. Uh -huh. What is wrong with that? Why should I end, end that person's life? Okay, that person done something really uh -huh. barbaric, yeah. very animalistic. Yeah. Let's say, right? yeah. Obviously, it happens. Yeah. First, let's find the roots of it. Why he ended up doing that? None of it talks about it. It just says, Qasas. Qasas, Qasas, Qasas. The Bible says Qasas. Go on, talk about Qasas. Walakum fil Qasas, ya hayat ya uli albab. And then it says, and in, and in this Qasas, there is life, if you were understood. If what life is it in Qasas? Okay. If this take. Oh, you mean someone gonna learn from that lesson? Is yes. That, is that what you yes. mean to send a message about? Yes. It? Yeah, but I'm just saying we could again put him in a jail 
put a video on and tell him, look, he's carrying a rock. Yeah. You want to do that? Go do that. Go rape someone. Go kill someone. How, you know? Has it worked? There is nothing like that. Has it worked? But there, there is nothing like such a no, punishment no, here. But, but like has that. it has it worked? Like for, I'm sure for, it okay, will work. for for example, now we have this uh, society. Peace will work, man. Peace okay. will work. So now we have this society. There is no peace. Huh? There is no peace. Everybody, not, you were very peaceful, Haji. Yes. So I respect that. You know. Otherwise, I couldn't carry on conversation. With the, with no, no. no. My, my my mind went. Yeah. Me too. <laughs> no, so we have a society where people's property is not safe. People's life is not safe. Yes. So there must be something wrong with the, the system. People have yes. people have nice houses, they have nice cars, we have good hospitals, we have good education system. Yes. But there, there's problems. It's greed, Habib. Yeah. Greed. Yeah. Greed. greed. There's nothing that's coming to my uh -huh. The only thing that could make people to take you, advantage of others is just greed. They just want more. They, 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 how do you say, they know themselves so entitled. But the thing is, this, this system, this system of uh, democracy, uh, freedom, uh, this is what is ruling the world at the moment. Okay, this... This, yeah. this democ these people have control with their democracy, with their freedom, with their equality, with their international laws, with their capitalist yeah, system, they are manipulating it, brother. I with, really with, with, with their, with their interest-based banking. Okay, yeah, that's like so okay, stupid, it, it, it may look that's good. It may look good here, but how is it working? No, like, it's not here, it's do you know not here. how much war we have? How much migrants we have? how much people are, are starving, how much people are living in poverty. And we would say, you, like, if they want to, they can blame Islam or they can blame... The fundamental of a striving society but these, but, is, is freedom, but is these, democracy. But these people... Not to leave, okay, scavengers but, free, obviously. Okay, you know? but Arrest if, them, control but, them. But if, if, that's if that's true, if that's true, you know, according to the Bible, Jesus said, that we judge people by their fruits. By their fruits, you will know them. Yes. Okay, so we're living in a free, dec uh, freedom, of, uh, freedom of speech, yes. democratic society. Yes. How is it looking for the world? From my perspective... How, how, many, how many migrants? But these migrants are not coming from democratic countries. No, but, but who is, what system is controlling their country? Most of them Money. are... Most, most banks, I would say no, banks. No, banks are controlling the world. Okay. There's, but no, most, there's no government control, it's just banks. Okay, but this, is the, but this is the people who are telling you that democracy and freedom is working. Because the base of it is democracy. The democracy is... Uh, but, the, the, but the democracy is the one who's telling you... What is the democracy? The democracy... What do you understand the, from democracy? Uh, that's, that's very... Fun. You have to understand that first. What is it? What, what, uh, shall, what shall democracy tell, means to you? Shall I tell you what it means to me? Sure. Democracy is the people ruling themselves without any revelation from the Creator. Yeah, okay, true, I understand. They're okay. taking advantage and of what And what, what happens in democracy in this society is... But that's not real democracy though. Okay, I'm not happy with my life, I'm not happy with my society, I'm not happy with my income. And what they say, don't worry, you can have your say. Every four years, I can vote. And I can vote should the person wear a blue tie or should the person wear a red tie. Yeah, and then a new person comes in power who, you false. <laughs> who works for the, the people who control the world, yeah. the economic system. And then after four years, I'm not happy. And they say, don't worry, you have freedom, you have your rights, yeah. you can vote for someone else. Yeah. It's just a show. Yeah, it's, it's just it, a it show. It's a show so it, for uneducated people. So if we educate kids what true democracy means, or first, before democracy, we should teach them what are the good values of life. You know, okay? the, you know the, if, they, if they know that, nobody can fool them. These people are, you're right, they've been fooled. Like, for example, you know the Iraq, you know the Iraq war. You know the Iraq war. The, for, the Iraq war that just happened. Yeah, with the. Yeah, 20, 20 years ago. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. 2001 when they attacked. In this country, 
this free society, I think it's one of the largest protests they ever had. One million people, they went to the streets. People of a dem uh, democratic free society, one million people. Muslims, Christians, uh, atheists, every, every, every section of society. They didn't want to see bombing, they didn't want to see war, they didn't want to see killing. So democracy would say, okay, one million people, maybe we should listen to them. No, conservative wanted agreed with the war, Labour wanted the war, and Liberal Democrats yeah. wanted the war. Where was the opinion of the people? And then they went to the war based on weapons of mass destruction, yeah. which Saddam had. Yeah. They never found any weapons. I agree with you on this. So, but you have international law, you have de democracy, you have courts, you have prisons. No one's been charged. I agree with you. So the thing is, it's just a show. It's just a show. So the idea is like a... But you know, democracy by itself is not a show. It's real, man. Where, where, it's, it's, okay, you show, respect show, your opinion, show respect. me where it happens. Show me when it happens. Show right me what is happening between me and you. I'm not. A I'm not. I right don't believe in democracy. You, you waiting yeah. for me to reply, yeah. right? So yeah. that means you are democratic enough for me. That's my understanding. That's my understanding. I so you you think that this conversation and difference of opinion can never happen unless it's in a democratic society? Of, of course it will. I'm just saying <coughs> you should respect uh, when you have respect for another person's yeah. time and opinion. Like, yeah. As in, like at least listening without without uh, uh, getting defensive, you know, yeah. towards it and just listening. That's, that means democracy. No, that no, but the thing is, I, I'm talking to you like this. Yeah. Not because I'm basing it on uh, the values of democracy. I'm talking to you like this yeah. because I'm basing it on Islam. Bless you. I believe that I'm responsible to, to call you to Islam, to convey the message of Islam. And as Allah mentioned in Quran, he said, "There's no, yes, alhamdulillah. There's no, no compulsion in religion, but the truth should come out from error." So, you're saying things. I'm saying things. We disagree, but I think if we continue, if we continue, you say something, I push back. I say something, you push. Then we can come to an agreement. Yes. It's not based on democracy. Okay. It's based on mutual respect. It's based on peace okay yeah and i would say democracy is an idea after people were free they realized okay now you're free now you should respect people's opinion but it's not working and do not fight it's, it's not people. working like I, in I, whole I, europe there's no war about. there's no war Why? but there are every different color in this country because there, do you think if there was like for example some of these men in my country they would be able to walk like that Free. Yeah, but the thing no. is, the thing is, but they don't know how to respect people's opinion. Okay. They think that's wrong. I should go and. Oh no, the problem. No, the problem. The... I, I, I agree. I agree. I agree. Our societies, they have problems which they need to address. But that's that's, the, that's all, but what the, I'm saying. But the idea that there's a war in that there's a war in Iraq. Yeah. There's a war in Iran. Yeah. There's a war in. Uh, Palestine right now. Maybe. Palestine. And that Europe is, has nothing to do with it. Europe, Europe has nothing to do with it. They're just innocent. They're just peaceful people. I'm not talking about the yeah. general people. Yeah. If, if you really believe this, this is a anti majnoon. Anti majnoon. If, if you believe this, you're majnoon. I don't believe in it. I believe the ones but, who but are you, causing war are the warlords. The oil but you, lords, but you keep the, the ones but who you have keep, banks in the control. But you keep telling me peace and your yeah. But you keep telling me peace, and then you're saying the way we get peace is by following the democratic, free system. But yeah, but, but the, you need to speak up the, about it. But at the same time, I need to speak up. I speak up about yeah. it. I need to say what is wrong with it. But look, for example, right now, the leaders in this country, yeah. from my understanding, yeah. are bullies. But you know, no, why? But, why? Because you, the good but, leaders are asleep. But the tell good you, leaders don't want to... But shall I tell you what the solution is? Sure. Four years time, you can vote. <laughs> you think that's a solution? Sure, I know what you mean. Anyway. They don't give you good options, obviously, yes. No, this is, this is uh, you know, side issues. The most important thing is the next life, the akhirah.
what's going to happen in the Akhirah. So the most important thing is who, who is God, who is Allah, who is his messenger, what is his, his wahi, what, what way of life I should follow. And I'm saying the only way mankind can truly be successful in this life and in the hereafter is to worship Allah, follow the last messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam, follow the Quran and live their life according to Islam. That's the only way you can be successful. Bless you. God bless you. I, mean, I pray for you, my brother. I pray for you. You pray for me as well. Think about it. Point. No, I get, I get your point, bro. I get your point. I would say, if it's supposed to work, it's supposed to work in our land. But the thing is, the thing is... You know, like right now, Iranian and Afghanistan are both Aryans, yeah? Uh -huh. But they hate each other. Like, not all, like, the un I would say uneducated one. Yeah, yeah. And both are Muslims. You know, there's a very simple Why answer. Why is that? There's a very, very so simple answer. We have to first fix that. There's a very simple answer. Very simple answer. We're not asking you to judge Islam by Muslims. We're asking you to judge Islam by Islam. And secondly, secondly, about fixing that, the first thing I have to do is fix myself. Yes. And the first thing you have to do is fix yourself. Yes. That's again to the first point that I told you. Yeah. And, and then we go second, and then we go third, and we go fourth. But yes. also, in these countries, you know that you can find a lot of good, which maybe you don't see. Like, for example, in most of these countries you mentioned, you know the family structure. Yes. How the people, they look after their parents, how, the parent, how they look after their grandparents, how they have uncles and aunties and cousins, yeah. how the system works. You know that this is very good. How, for example, in most of these societies... Definitely, you know, definitely. Family-wise, 100%. Man. Like, for example, now, if someone has a financial problem, then the people will, they will go amongst themselves and they will collect money, they will collect money and they will solve this problem. If you have a, a young husband and wife, and obviously husbands and wives, they have arguments. They're not left. They will bring her family, they will bring the father's family, they will sit down and they will solve the problem. So the thing is, sometimes when you look from the outside, all oh, these societies are bad, they have all problems, but there's still a lot of good in these societies as well. Absolutely, I agree with you. And the solution of this is only this. Mosques, uh, okay, religion, should go to the mosques, to the churches, and, and parliaments and politics should be only uh, accepting the values of secularism. No, Ilmania. Fairness. Uh, these are uh, tricky words. <coughs> Fairness, equality, yeah, and freedom. Okay. Freedom for everybody, not obviously for scavengers. They no. should be jailed for the scavengers. No, I, they shouldn't be free. I don't want my child to be taught by the songs that they're talking about, for example, adulteries, uh -huh. which is here is so much, they're normalizing it. And to people using bad words are become so you don't believe, so usual. So you, you don't know? believe in I freedom? Don't agree with you don't believe in freedom then? Yeah, I believe in freedom. Why? In a, in a clean freedom, in a pure freedom, you in, mean in a, its you purity. Mean, you mean a limited freedom? No, in, in its purity. Like people should understand the, the purity of freedom. What is it? And what, like you can tell which is positive and negative, right? If you uh, see a girl here, fully naked, is it positive or no? Covered, it's, obviously. It's freedom. Yeah, I'm just saying, but which, it's one, freedom. which one is positive? Like, you see a person... No, because... Like, but you know what I'm saying? Is, these are common sense. I can say, you can't these say. These things are common sense. No, 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 no. Yeah, if I... No, like, no, no. For example, no. if someone take the... Excuse my language. Uh, do the toilet here. Yeah. Or stand up here and asking you, where is the toilet? Which one is common Which well, Your common sense tells you which one is right. According to me... Is wrong. According to you, it's okay. To me, it's not okay. Also, <laughs> have, have you have you ever heard? There's an English expression. Is you cannot have your cake and eat it. You know you have a beautiful cake, and you like looking at this cake, and you like saying this cake belongs to Sam. This cake belongs to me. Okay. You can't have your cake and eat it. Yes. Once you eat it, you haven't don't have the cake anymore. You're talking about freedom, but then you're saying you don't want this. 
Yeah, I don't want it. Because so you don't. We need, you, to, we need you, to educate. We need don't want, We need Islam. But we you don't want freedom. You don't want. You don't want. You don't want freedom then. Because this is this is the product of freedom. Because look, people. Do you understand my point? Yeah, I understand. Because but you 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 saying this, for instance, like everybody are scholars like you. Not everybody. No, are no, like no, no, scholars. Not yeah. everybody are. They have your understanding. The kids don't have it. They have to so grow you up. They have to travel. So you don't, you don't, like I didn't have so, it. Like, so you don't I want freedom. You don't want freedom. No, then. I want freedom for people. For yeah. everyone, that you, you want to go uh, uh, the, sit the, on top of there, be there, but don't cause anybody's harm. As long as it doesn't cause anybody's harm, uh -huh. it's, I'm okay with it. So you have limits, anyway. Yeah, of course, I have my own boundaries. Okay. You have to set but, boundaries, hundred percent. But, bound, but boundaries are not from freedom, then. See, the thing is, what what it is. Let me tell because you something. Maybe you you suggesting that freedom to a jungle freedom. No, no, no. no. But, but we've been given. I'm not talking about that. We've been sold these words. Freedom, unity, peace, and they're just used. They're words that, that have no meaning or have no reality. Habibi. I'm just talking yeah. about fairness. For example, yeah. if someone is a transsexual, for example, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm not. I shouldn't condemn him. To death. Uh -huh. That's uh -huh. what I'm saying. That uh -huh. that kind of freedom. So it's, it's but a, if you're gonna it's, come and it's say a, it's no, a, it's a it's selective. Normal and kill it, me, it's a selective freedom. You should be selective. Okay. That's that's the, I think that's the wisest thing. You should be selective. Okay, but it still returns back to the. My point is, the Creator created us. True. He knows what is good for us and what is bad for us. Allah right. Allah says, "Does not the one who created knows? Verily, He is the the, the subtle, the all aware." Yeah. So, so our point is, we have to follow. What Musa alayhi well, salam brought, what Isa alayhi salam brought, what Muhammad alayhi salam brought. Mankind in their own time, in their own place, they have to worship God alone and follow the messenger sent to them. The messenger sent to us now for all mankind from that time until the day of judgment is Muhammad sallallahu alayhi salam. Islam. That's that the only way. Create the balance. I believe God, I, this is my taking. God put us on this planet to create balance. Can we do the balance? We cannot do it only by Islam. Maybe if we create a religion mix of all these together, maybe, 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 maybe. But to, to have the balance, you just yeah. you have to educate people. You have to teach them what real love is. What is the real love to people? People now think if I buy a girl a Lamborghini, I love her. Yeah. So that's the wrong teaching that they have, uh -huh. you know. But to me, love is a different thing. So these, these are the fundamentals of it. You have to work on it. But we're gonna go straight to okay because it makes us obviously easier. I know it's gonna make it easier to say okay everybody follow this. It's gonna be easier. Hundred percent is gonna be easier. Then like you have ten kids, all of them are Muslim. It's yeah. easier to control them than one of them is Christian, one of them is Jews. What you know? Mm -hmm. Obviously no, it's gonna make it simpler. But the but the, real, the, but the thing is we have intellect. Obviously, all mankind may not. All mankind will not follow the same way. Mankind is yeah, free; they yeah. can choose what because they want. We have also. We have freedom. It is a bad word I use. For we have the free intellectual will. People, yeah, yeah. I say they are intellectual prostitutes. You know, they, yeah, they have. You they have, have them. You have them. Not every intellectuals are also correct. Of so course. No, that's no. Why the balance? But we have freedom, as in we have free will. I can choose the right way and I can choose the wrong way. Yes, free will. Yes. But what we're saying is, in a society, you're not going to have everyone believe yes. and everyone is good. You're going to have people who reject. You're going to have people who do bad. Yes. That's why we need but freedom, so it doesn't end up no, in no. clashes. In, in, in when I say freedom, I mean free will, as yeah, in we will. choose. Yeah, let them to choose. But by that choice, we are accountable. That's why we're going to have Yom Al Qiyam, we're going to have the Day of Judgment. A person can choose to do evil, they can choose to worship yes. other than Allah, yes. they can choose to follow the wrong religion. Yeah, some people worship cows. And, I know. and then they will have to meet Allah and they're going to be judged. God for them, good and, for them. And it was either Jannah or Jahannam. So, uh, do you think God is going to judge me that I didn't teach them the right way? If you're able to. If I'm able to, okay, then I you will. Should. But I'm just saying, yeah, of course, I will. Yeah. I mean, I will try my best. But, but at the end of the day, but first you have to accept God it yourself. God will not punish me for their mistakes. 
They no, had the chance you're, you're to going, hear me. Yeah, you're not going to carry the responsibility exactly. for them. Exactly, that's all I'm saying. But for most of us, I like, think, like my, my mother, for example, thought that she has to make sure that I did, don't do wrong, for example. You know, otherwise, she's going to be doomed. And I would say, no. It's not like that. No, but she has to tell you, she has yeah, to teach she you. Trying, she she, has, to, she has to try and show you, but she can't force you. But at the same time, she was stressing herself, stressing us, stressing the neighbors. For example, I'm not saying my mom was literally like that. This is an example. But she was stressing the neighbors. You know, that's the that's that's the problem. But this is this, uh, but this is the teaching concept. in Islam. al al balagul mabin. The messenger only has to convey clearly, but he can't force anyone. Yes. But. I think but you get my point though. I get your point. You know? I don't just I don't disagree with this point. Me too. I don't disagree But my point is but my point is yeah, yeah. my point is we have to worship Allah alone. Yes. We have to we accept his messengers. Yes. His last messenger is the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and the last revelation is the Quran. And the Quran teaches us you have to be Muslim. Allah mentioned in Quran if anybody chooses a way other than Islam, it will not be accepted from them. And in the hereafter, that person will, will, will be amongst the, the losers. Thing. Yeah. You know, they say the only way is Jesus, otherwise you will not see God. Okay. I, I'll, yeah. tell you, but I'll tell you why Christianity is copy, wrong. Copy paste. We can, I, we're going around in circles, but Christianity is wrong. Why? Because those who say that Jesus is God is wrong. Those who say that man is not responsible for their own sins, but rather Jesus, an innocent person, died for their sins are wrong. The Bible hasn't been preserved. And also, they rejected a messenger who came from God after them. Like, for example, in the time of uh, Jesus, if someone said, Jesus came and said, look, I'm a messenger from God sent to you, the children of Israel. And that person said, look, I believe in God. I believe in Moses. I follow the law of Moses. I don't, I don't, I don't need you. I reject you. We would say, no, if Jesus was sent by God and you rejected Jesus, you have rejected God as well. So that's why I say that Christianity can make all the claims it's want, it wants, but it's not the true religion. Any of them are like that. I have many, I have like these I, I don't know, there's, there's, there's some Arabic poetry, very nice. I don't know the Arabic. I need, I need to learn it. But there's about a lady called Layla. Layla, the Arabs, they say she was a beautiful la lady. So the poetry, the meaning is that everybody claims Layla. But, but when you go to Layla and you ask, she says, I don't know these people. The meaning, everybody claims their way is true. Christianity, Islam, Judaism, democracy, freedom, communism, Shiism, everybody claims, because no one would yeah. follow but the thing is, that's what I cannot accept. But you, of it. you know, no, like, but you need but no. God, but you need to study. But you need to study, and you need to do research. I have studied it. And if you are, if you are, really looking for the truth, I will say you will find it in Islam. Is, brother, due to the reasons I gave peace you. Peace and love. Uh -huh. Period. Nothing else. Peace, love. Simple. Simple. Love as that. what? And love who? Love one another. Love each other's differences, respect each other's differences. <coughs> if that person is doing wrong, uh -huh. okay, I shall tell him or her what he's doing is wrong, but again, I should not judge them to but, say, oh, this person must definitely go but how to do you know, how, how do you know it's wrong? What do you, what do you, you how do you know? You can tell if somebody doing, you can tell this is God giving you this power already. No, no, no. This is common sense. It's like you go through touching the fire. You know that's going to burn. Oh, no, how no. do you know it's burning? Oh, no, no, but some of the things which you said today, which you believe are wrong, the person doesn't believe it's wrong. I try to teach them why it's wrong. I try to tell them. Anyway. If I know if I have the knowledge, you know, but sometimes I might not have the knowledge. So I, I, I choose peace again. I'm like, okay, peace. Uh -huh. Love, my friend. I try to give them love. They say, love your enemy. You know, even love your enemy. They will, uh -huh. they will feel that. They will know. Some people, anyway, they have devil inside of them. You can't change it. Can you? Okay. You know, that's that's the thing. And 
Some. And we are, unfortunately, the results of many wars and clashes. Some. In conclusion. In conclusion. Yes. My message is simple. Worship Allah alone and accept Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam as the last messenger, accept the Quran as the last revelation, and submit to Allah in Islam. Otherwise, you will not find that peace, that happiness you're looking for, and in the hereafter, hellfire. Whether you agree with me or not, but I'm telling you that's the, the clear message. I'm again gonna ask you again, why we don't have peace? Why we don't have peace in our land? I have peace here. Uh -huh. Why we don't have it in Afghanistan? What is that little kid, man? He done wrong that he doesn't have it. Why? Why the kids here have it, man? We, the we, parents probably doing drinking alcohol every day. They doing every day adult trips. They do everything. They do drugs. Why the kids are here are more blessed are our kids in Iran, for example. Afghanistan. Didn't uh -huh. you see the kids in Af Afghanistan holding the tires of the airplane? Uh -huh. To come in here? Why? Uh, that land is so blessed. They don't have even our food. You know, the, the food that we have there, they don't uh -huh. have it even here. Why are we not happy with it? Why we don't get blessed by it? Okay, and, and where did their problems come from? Those problems? Yeah. Because of people don't understand that they should respect people's differences. That's you you think so? Yeah. It's got nothing to do with 20, 20 years uh, war of America. It's got nothing to do with... If you uh, want to talk about so this, then it, we have to talk about got, has, maybe 1400 got, years ago, maybe has, 2000 has, years ago. Has it got ago. nothing to do with the Soviet Union? Sure, sure, for sure. Sometimes I make a joke out of it. I say, look, the Russians, what uh -huh. color are Russians? White. These yeah. people, what color are they? Uh -huh. White. Uh -huh. We are in the middle, toast bones. We keep getting pushed by them. You know, it's... This Sam, is the truth. Sam, if you, can, understanding. if you can excuse me, I'm going to finish now. <laughs> I appreciate that. Sam, word. thank you for it your was, time. It was really, I learned a I learned few things. I though. hope so. But I'm your neighbor, I will come and definitely. No problem, we're, we're here every Saturday. Every Saturday? Yes. Which but, mosque are you going to? Uh, I live Plasto, so I, just my local Plasto, masjid. Which yeah. Place is the Plasto? There are so many mosques. Plasto is, you know, I know. this is Stratford. After Stratford is Plasto. There was a mosque, Tawhid, I think, I went in there. Oh, Leighton. That's East Ham, that's Leighton, like, that side, yeah. yeah. Oh, there's, what, there's, I think there's two mosques called yeah, Tawhid, one in East Ham, one in... Yeah, I went there one day and uh, one guy said, brother, are you coming to this mosque? I said, I, yeah. He said, you see you the other day on the other mosque. I never went there, you know, it was just one day I went there. I was working in the restaurant there. He said, people from that mosque don't come to this mosque. Uh -huh. And I'm like, what's the difference? Why? Wait. And the same thing is with the churches too. The you, churches do the same thing. You can open up another another chapter, but yeah. now we have to finish. That's but this, what, but this is the basis I'm talking about. Worship Allah alone. Accept His last messenger, Muhammad yes. sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Follow the Quran. God bless you. And my point is peace, love. Okay, sir. Thank, Thank you very much, Thank sir. You so much. Thank you for your time. I appreciate Thank it. Thank you so much, you too, man. But God we're here every God Saturday. Bless you. I mean, and, all of us. Hopefully, inshallah, God willing, we find peace. Yes. You know? Thanks so much, man. God bless you. Okay, then. Thank, Thank you very much. Take care.